Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with God of High School episode number 4. Now in the previous episode we got back to back four, uh, uh, 3 fights of our 3 main characters. And uh, yeah it was quite action packed and uh, we got to know a little bit of the backstory of Han. That is uh, the second guy in the group that is uh, the main character, one of the main characters and uh, we got uh, a little bit of kind of flashback type of thing of with uh, uh, Jin Mori uh, something about his power or something uh, it was like uh, I don't know there must be something about it uh, he, he must be something special and uh, yeah uh, because he kind of survived the uh, test that was given by Park, uh, Park Mujin his name was isn't it yeah Park Mujin uh, that poisoned apple so uh, was that an apple I forgot anyways and uh, the poison food item that he was given and um yeah and it was quite uh, amazing the fight scenes were great as always and uh, it was quite an action-packed episode so yeah let's get started with uh, today's episode that is episode number four of god of high school now uh, the timer and the subtitles will be given here link it to whichever is a preference and let's get started I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go! Big Bang. Okay, this is quite good. Uh, the comic strips. Heel. Heel side. Wow, okay. All right. Han, Jinmori, and where's, who's the other one? Beyond Jehi. Okay, now this will be interesting. Okay. <laughs> what a dilemma <laughs> wait what what's with the Eng English who is this English guy Wait, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was abrupt. abrupt. That voice, um, where have I heard it? I can't put my finger on it. Uh, oh yeah, uh, this is um, first of all uh, Oshino Meme from Bake Monogatari, uh, Monogatari series. That's the voice actor, isn't it? Uh, No, no, not Ocean of Memory, sorry, I'm, uh, Kaiki Deshu, yeah, yeah, Kaiki Deshu. Ocean's voice is a lot different, um, this is Kaiki Deshu's voice. These characters were like uh, present for this uh, tournament. Uh, I don't know if they will remain or not. Uh, like that uh, guy Go Gamdo and the uh, that girl. I forgot the girl's name. Marriage bonds. Okay. Hmm.
Wait, what? Ria Kuginia's voice actor. I, I mean, Ria Kuginia. Wait, she's getting married? Oh, they're, they're just... Ceremony? Wait, what? Wait, so this guy was the real deal? I mean, uh, he's a fian fiance? Wait, what the hell is happening here? But that was quite quick, like... Oh, no, no. Mm, I don't think that's what Yumira desires. She wants to uh, do it herself, like... Okay, so this is uncle. Well, this must be that girl, isn't it? That's little girl? Yeah. His sister. Wow, this animation seems quite... Wait, wait. Oh yeah, okay, so he was kind of like, yeah, he was not suited for combat. Yeah. No, this is Oshino, isn't it? I'm getting mixed. Anyways, forget about that. Okay, so he's like doing this as a I don't think so. You you're sketchy, your um, actions and mannerisms are like... <laughs> Must be Jin, Jin Mori. Okay. Now this is getting out of hand like Yeah. That's not how that happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. Um. Well, you have an active imagination. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the girl who treasured his sword, uh, her sword, so much. Hmm. Well, I think this guy's like uh, doing this in uh, because of the profits and everything that can happen if he's able to like. But this is like going too fast. Yeah, she's quite pretty. Yeah, the funny thing is, Mira gave up everything, all of that, his, her hobbies, her female, everything, for the sword. And now, ironically, she has to become a female again for the sword, for the future of her uh, technique, that is that sword technique. Oh my god. God damn. <laughs> Here he is. Um Um, you can probably <laughs> okay. I don't think that's gonna work with Jin Mori. Oh god. Holy sword that can do that. Oh, so he's one of them. The holy sword that can rule God it's himself. Wow. Okay, so he wants to control her. I get it.
งานเทรีสอู้ฟยับแอนเทลเดอร์เ <laughs> ย yeah, definitely like these guys are like top I don't think so two little flies like okay let's see okay let's see what this guy can do Yep, he's she's like doing this for for the sword, but Oh my God! <laughs> That is. Okay. Damn. That skill. Okay, what's happening over there? Are they still fighting? That's a villain's laugh. Um, that English. <laughs> okay, so these are like different type of powers. Oh my God. Okay, now they were unable to do. Anything previously? Let's see. Three on one can take take this on. Oh my God! Damn these techniques! Oof! Amazing. That was smooth. <laughs> Yep. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh my god, this guy. I think that's a fake sword. Fake sword, isn't it? Or not? Wait, that was the real one? Uh, wasn't that so supposed to be something a big deal? Something of a... <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's his friend. Oh my god. Oh my god, here we go again. Like, these guys. Okay. They deserved it. And he'll probably get uh, fired from this job. Oh my god, I think he's not going to come. Oh my god, this is bad. Oh no. Oh, he can't. Oh my god. Uh, that's not something you should do like however painful it is like oh my god that was Ah, that was bad. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, that was the end of uh, episode four of God of High School. Now, uh, the first thing I have to talk about here is that uh, uh, I'm, I'm coming. Uh, I'm starting from the last portion. Like, uh, like I get uh, what uh, Han uh, Dwe is feeling. Like, um, he did everything for that guy and uh, uh, for uh, paying his medical bills and stuff. You. Wanted him to have uh, to recover and everything, and I don't know if he died or is alive or in a critical condition, but um, yeah, he. Now this is a tough thing. Like uh, he, he was in a tough situation. Like all of that anger, his frustrations that were uh, 
storing up inside his heart uh, that were pent up everything uh, the uh, at first i thought that he would probably not come uh, to the finals and uh, mira would get a default win uh, but uh, i was wrong proven wrong and uh, the opposite happened like uh, unable to uh, keep up those pent uh, feelings pent up feelings he the only uh, uh, place where he was that is uh, that he will be able to uh, unleash all of his pent up frustrations was uh, that tournament ring and yeah that was a bad uh, i i can't say anything more it was just bad timing and bad situation like uh, like i get it uh, he uh, his uh, his uh, what do you call it his frustrations and everything uh, kind of like overflowed and uh, he beat up mira like that like uh, another thing is that uh, if Mira was like uh, okay, uh, she, she didn't get slashed in her stomach, she probably would have been able to hold her ground. I don't know. And uh, like hitting a hard place uh, is like extremely painful. Uh, getting hit in a hard place and she was slashed in her stomach. So I saw that um, uh, Han was like punching in that place uh, at the injury uh, place where the injury occurred. So uh, he, she started bleeding, and that's like a uh, thing that happened in the previous day. So obviously she'd get like uh, hurt badly if that place was like punched. So I think that if uh, uh, Mia was in her normal condition, the fight would have been a lot fairer, and uh, Han, uh, like she could have um, held herself strong against Han, and but like bad luck and bad situation and bad timing everything and if um, Han was like uh, he was not so agitated and uh, the thing that happened with his friends did not occur uh, he, would, he would have probably not uh, done stuff like that but still it's wrong like uh, I get it I, I get everything that you're uh, feeling and but still uh, like venting up your frustrations on the wrong party is like bad. Uh, he could have like punched a wall or anything, but um, yeah, that was bad. But I can't fault him for that because this is like they're, they're, he's human. He's obviously human. So he uh, humans have these type of things, uh, like uh, yeah, this type of negative things. So he's not God. So uh, it's what do you call it? Yeah, I, I kind of, I can't forgive him for that because that's just unfavorable circumstances and if everything that happened, like, uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> that's all that I can say, like, uh, none of the, them were at fault, maybe a Han a little bit, but because he kind of uh, lashed uh, out at the wrong person and, and the wrong place, but still uh, you can't fault anyone for that it's just bad luck and uh, bad situation and timing and uh, another thing we can see here is that uh, the uh, organization that we saw before uh, they're like uh, starting to do stuff more actively like uh, they sent a guy to just uh, nab Mira's sword and everything and the girl who uh, and Mira as well but he was unable to snatch Mira but uh, he snatched her sword and uh, Mia said that uh, like yeah uh, the sword was uh, is not uh, everything uh, I have my own conviction I have my own confidence so I will be able to use that uh, the sword was just like what do you call it uh, nothing the, uh, my own confidence and my own intentions are clear now I'm confident now so I will be able to move on um, that's well and good, but uh, the thing is that if that sword was really th that much of a big deal, like they were saying, like it was able to uh, kill gods or something, I, I don't know, like it was a sword from a god or something like that. Uh, if that sword was really uh, something like that, <laughs> then it's a pretty big deal. He kind of snatched it away, so I don't know what happened, um, what would happen later on for that. And um, the thing here is that um, uh, Mira was like um, she was uh, she had an, an uh, I don't know she uh, probably lost her dad in something 
like uh, probably some desire I uh, don't remember if this said the cause of her dad's death uh, or I simply forgot it but um, his dad died and uh, Mira uh, wanted to uh, carry on his dad's will uh, the, the uh, she wanted to carry on that uh, her dojo and everything in the way of the sword but um, like uh, she was alone at that time so his uncle uh, her uncle probably and uh, um, uh, adopted her and fortunately her uncle and uh, her uncle's uh, daughter that is uh, Mira's cousin I think yeah cousin uh, were good people and uh, and usually we see like uh, step uh, people who kind of adopts others uh, usually do that for money and stuff like in lo a lot of anime we saw these like adopting people uh, children for money their parents money and everything but these guys were generally good, genuinely good and wanted Mira's happiness uh, but Mira as you can see like she, uh, his uncle was her uncle was un unable to carry on the way of the soul because she, he was weak so Mira uh, took it upon herself to carry that onwards and um, she did a pretty good job of it and uh, she became strong and sh uh, she had talent but uh, she, all of that all of the practice everything she did at the expense of her um, what do you call it um, at the expense of her uh, girl uh, I can't uh, say the right word at the expense of uh, everything that a girl does like uh, she uh, uh, cast out everything that a girl does uh, like going shopping uh, makeups and everything and concentrated solely on becoming powerful so that she can uh, continue the, uh, her dad's will and become stronger and uh, yeah uh, ironically uh, here what happened was like everything that she gave up on and uh, to carry on the will of the sword uh, to keep the, the to keep on moving forward uh, she had to take it up again like she had to get uh, married uh, this is very ironical and very like what do you call it <laughs> uh, yeah ironical is the right word like she did everything she uh, cast out her girliness everything uh, just so that she can become stronger and she can uh, keep uh, going forward but she kind of got that uh, she won't be able to do this much longer because of money problems or any other problems uh, but uh, so, uh, so she uh, took the opportunity to become married to to get married to a person who would be able to gather, uh, gather that much influence and make uh, that uh, sword uh, uh, what do you call it sword technique uh, the school of the uh, what do you call that uh, the the way of the sword that his dad uh, I can't remember uh, the name of the moon gecko or something moon something I forgot. Uh, so um, so she took uh, advantage thought of trying to take advantage of that but uh, yeah that's quite ironical like she had to take up the one thing that she gave up upon just so that she can move forward and uh, the, her friends uh, fortunately uh, opened her eyes up and made her realize that um, if you have your own uh, confidence and if you have your own conviction that yeah I will be able to do it no matter what happens uh, she would be able to continue that and uh, yeah like if she becomes uh, the winner of this tournament I think she will get uh, I mean uh, financial support and everything she would probably get more sponsorship and her uh, dojo will kind of get in the light even if she doesn't become the top if uh, she even if she is the runner up the runner up no, runners up like uh, second or third um, she would get recognition uh, forget becoming runners up even if uh, she uh, uh, participated in this type of tournament she would definitely get get more uh, recognition because of that so yeah I think uh, everything will be okay because uh, because like she the, the, the way she fought and uh, th there are a lot of audiences everyone who were impressed with her so I think her dream will be moving sailing on smoothly even if she doesn't do uh, marry uh, someone of uh, higher 
what do you call it higher influence and uh, uses uh, even if she doesn't use others influence she would be able to do just fine and so yeah that was this episode and uh, this uh, this was quite uh, what do you call it um, what do you call it a hard episode like uh, at the last bit it was it became a bit gloomy and everything like uh, like uh, this is a type of episode where you know that yeah uh, the thing that they're doing is wrong but even if it is wrong uh, you can't help it like the thing that happened with han and he's not a bad guy so you can't even like become angry at him uh, he really he really is uh, troubled and uh, Uh, what do you call it like uh, he doesn't know what to do now so it's normal it's uh, you can't even become angry at him so yeah this is this was that type of episode so yeah thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed my reaction uh, please be sure to press the like button and if you're new here and have not subscribed please consider doing so and uh, comment down below uh, your opinions and anything about this uh, episode and uh, yeah i'll be back with a new tower of god uh, god of high school episode next week uh, until then goodbye and have a nice day